Okay, let's see if we can get somebody to tell me that the sound's on and then we'll get started. Sound is on, so let me back up a little bit here. Uh, da, 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 da. What qualities do we look for for a service dog? Um, good health is always number one. Um, then we like to see a lot of focus and be able to follow instructions, uh, consistency, um, good pace, good positioning, all those things that we teach them, as long as they're absorbing it, then we can work with them and improve it all the time. Um, if you get a dog that just can't focus on things, you're going to have problems with it. Or simple things like other pet aggression or food aggression, those type of things hamper. Uh, so temperament is huge. Emmett and his evaluation is moving along. This is only the second day. Um, so we'll have a better look at that probably beginning, middle of next week. Not seeing any huge problems. We just have to fine tune some things. Have you ever had a good They make these in Nashville. And I see people are starting to see the big Barker clip that came out. We actually did that last year. Well, it's been almost a year, I guess. Middle, yeah. It was the middle of the end of the summer last year when we started that. Uh, Melissa did a very good job on that. Um, their crew that came out were easy to work with, so it all worked out nice. Charlie is a strange character. When he's in Vest, he is super on key. He doesn't miss a trick. When he's not in Vest and he's playing, he surely does like to play like a dog. He will get running around. Um, him and Laney like to run around a lot. They have a ball. Charlie doesn't really have any bad habits. He, um, well, for instance, uh, one of the things he alerts on me was he'll take his nose and, and punch me in the stomach or the groin. To me, that's irritating, but he's really doing his job, so it's not really a bad habit. Chaos is doing good. She's in the house. She's in and out. Um, she hangs out with Linda a little bit. She hangs out with Carlene. Um, she's been going down to Puppy Hill so that we can keep exercising her. Uh, exercise is important, especially the older the dogs get. They need to stay up on their exercise. So we've been putting her down there um, to get as much exercise as we can. Sitting around the house doing nothing isn't the best thing, especially as they get older. The bat that's down there, we get this question a lot. The bat is there to, as a distraction. And what I mean by that is, uh, say you have five or six kennels and they're all barking at something. If you slam the bat down onto the cement and makes that noise, that's a distraction away from what they're doing so they all focus on where the noise came from and then you give them a command of you know, no barking or stop or whatever the case may be. But that bat is just there for a distraction when you have a lot of things going on at one time. I don't use the bat that often. I, 
use my voice. I just scream at the top of my lungs. I'm sure some of you have heard it. I try not to spoil Charlie. Uh, he is in such a consistent, constant routine going with me um, that, you know, like he doesn't get table food, period. So he, because he hasn't had table food since I've had him five plus years now, he doesn't expect it. Uh, he could, we could be in a restaurant and somebody would drop food right in front of him and he just looks at it, but he won't go near it. He's really well trained when it comes to that stuff. The command of leave it, uh, all these dogs learn that command and that's specifically for that type of thing. You don't want them eating something, smelling something, putting their nose somewhere. You tell them to leave it and they'll pull their head away. We use that a lot. As far as the, you know, when we give every dog every opportunity to make it through the whole system. Uh, there are times when we get towards the end that we're kind of on the bubble of whether they're going to make it or not. <coughs> we will give them every chance to prove to us that they can make it. We'll spend more time with them. We'll double their training. So we'll go way out of our way to try to overcome, especially if it's only one issue. Um, and we'll work around that to get them through that. I would say we have a pretty good rate of getting them through if it's just a one issue problem. Um, if we get to like nine, ten months and there's quite a few issues or three or four issues, um, that's when we seriously start thinking, is this going to work in the long run? Uh, because it's not fair to keep pushing them uh, if they're not going to make it. Now it's time to find them you know, a place that they can live their life out happy. So. It does happen, but uh, we usually will know in advance of that. Yeah, one thing, you know, about these, the Hunter and the Bella cases like that is those kids put a lot of time into their dogs. It's almost harder for them because of their age to do what we ask of the adults but when they're that dedicated to doing it it makes it well worth it so they really do bust their butts to to make everything work and if you know if they didn't it, it wouldn't work so uh, kudos to them uh, the dog that, that I've trained that reminds me of Charlie would be Clark Caroline and Clark and Dwyer. Um, both remind me quite a bit of, of uh, Charlie. I, uh, matter of fact, used to call Clark Little Charlie for the longest time. Beyond Charlie. Yeah, beyond. We're just so in love. It's unreal. Steve, did you cover what we talked about on the barn? No. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, they spend their entire life with the handler, um, even after they retire. They are, we encourage that they stay with them because uh, that's what they're used to. So they work until they can't work anymore and then they retire out and they stay with the individual as well. And what Megan and I were just discussing earlier is we're running into some little bit of issues here with different things going on here that we're concerned a little bit about the fact that when people have an issue with a dog that we don't get too many opinions out there floating um, without talking to the trainers uh, because you have to keep in mind we know what the dog leaves as and when there's a problem 
will know how to fix it. But when you get too many people inputting on things like that, it gets confusing and it may not be the right thing. And then you've heard us talk about this before is it's easier to fix a problem when you know what the problem is. But if you try to fix a problem and it's not the right thing and it causes another problem, you've just doubled your problems and it becomes even harder to fix. So you're creating a problem without fixing a problem. That's a double whammy. So um, if, if we have recipients out there that are having problems with their dogs, the smallest issue to the biggest issue. Uh, granted that Megan and I, sometimes it takes us an hour, hours or a day to get back to you, um, but we will get back to you. But let us try to get through it and get the problem solved quickly. Um, before you start rewriting books. I've heard some advice out there about how to fix things that are quite alarming sometimes. And we do know that people are just trying to help. I, I, we appreciate that. But if you have a problem, um, most of the time we can handle it over the phone because we already know the dog so let's try to keep it online. We're trying to word this in a way that won't offend anybody. And I say that with all the love possible because I know that there's a million CPs out there that would do anything to help anybody and their dogs. So we totally get that. Meg and I and Olivia get really worked up when we see dogs doing things they shouldn't be doing. Especially if I see a picture on Facebook of a dog doing something totally wrong. I've seen that. And it will drive us nuts. One, that it's happening, and two, that now we're putting it on Facebook so that everybody can comment on, comment on how it's wrong. Really makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> we take the dogs personally. <laughs> it's a bad habit we have. And I did hear from Bud and Rue this week and they're doing great. They're gonna stop by the farm and see us soon. Bud sounds like he's doing really good. I don't know if Katie's still coming on Saturdays. I don't think she was here last week. Nope. So I don't know if she's, I don't know her schedule. That's my day off, so I don't really run into Katie there. I don't think there's there. a commitment there yet, or a committed day, I should say. I owe you $10. All right. I'll take that in 20s, please. Yeah. <laughs> See you, loser. Bye, loser. <laughs> Double loser. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Hi, Jerry. Tell Steve I said hello. Who's getting neutered tomorrow? Somebody's getting neutered tomorrow. Maybe it is Edgar. I'm not positive. The 12th. I don't is tomorrow the 12th? If it's if tomorrow the 12th, it's Edgar. Yeah. Okay, so I guess Edgar is um, due to get neutered tomorrow. Oh, it's hard to keep up with all that stuff. I'm always glad to hear that Seagram is doing good in the city. 
that is probably the best training area you could possibly go. Uh, and that's actually where it was Charlie and oh, Finn. And that was the final test for Finn to know that, that Finn was going to work out really well. Uh, New York City is a great place to train dogs. Because if it's going to happen, it's going to happen there. Misha did go home, but I'm not sure if Misha is home permanently or just on a home visit. We're kind of slowly weaning off from the Misha thing. Okay, I have to go visit my mother who's in the nursing home, so I am driving to Western Mass tonight. Lucky me. <laughs> so I can drive back to Maine tomorrow. All right, I guess she's going to get Carlene. See so ya. You call me a loser all the time? I call her a loser. Who is that? I'm a loser. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a dream to see my mother. <coughs> yeah. And then drive back to Maine tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you guys. Come back sometime when you come back. No. That's good to do with your family. Okay. So it'll be this time next year, I'm right. sure. But You know, just so that she don't open them, just slice them. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some of the dogs don't all carry it over with my teeth. I've done it before. Yeah, you have. <laughs> you certainly have. Okay, she wants to know how. Look at this. Yeah, it's 
something from the yard sale. Did you? Yes. Yeah, so something, if you, you want to put your hearing aids in and you can see them. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? A shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be used for medicinal purposes, too. Certainly, but. that's what that is. <laughs> no. No, that's a shot glass. That's probably a little smaller than what I've been using. You could dip your hearing aids in the medicine and then you don't care whether you can hear or not. I see, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I looked at that beef. I had, that's, I put it in at four. Mm -hmm. What about it? Is it? Is it it's seven pounds. Oh, oh, it is a bacon. Yeah, it, it Anybody is. need water? Me, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's one hour. So it, it, it looks like it's done. It's a convection oven, right? It's a convection oven. Yeah. But sometimes it fools you because it, you think it's done, you know, because the outside looks so done, and then you No, I got a thermometer in it. Oh, well. Yeah, it's up to almost 160. Well, there you go then. Go yeah. go give your professional opinion. I left the door open. Hey, it's just sitting there. It smells good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it passed with the smell of me. If it passes the smell test, you can eat it. You can eat it. Right. That's exactly right. That's all we got is beef, but what the hell? That wasn't in anything else. Well, what am I doing? Is the sound on? Yep, I think so. You're ready to go. Oh, okay. Do you want your basket? You don't want your basket? No, i got to sort it. Oh, I see. It's not all. Okay. It's not I all see. mail call worthy. We only take worthy things. I don't know what it is. Because it's sort of mail. It's sort of mail. <laughs> It's a sort of air call. Red Cross. All right. Hey, when socks are cut or wet. Mm, bad news. AARP Foundation. I don't know. I know. I'm so tired of being wet and cold this spring. It's just. Did you see the G10? I just took a glance at it, but I'm going to go look at it after. Pretty awesome. Wow. Amazing awesome job. Is right. That's a lot of work. It was a lot of work. There were six people. And they just carry things in, and carry things back out again. It's so nice. It was. They were very nice, and we may have gotten two permanent sort of help type things oh, with nice. us. Nice, excellent. A guy that grew up around the corner and never knew we were here. Is that right? Yeah. Was like the right one across the street from John Dybel, <coughs> whose wife's hair cut. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah right. What was like the woman, the neighbor that came from um, um, Hood, Hood Farm Road? Yeah. I mean, she knew we were here, but she said, I've been by it a thousand times that I've never stopped. I always wanted to. And she finally came and she said, oh, I can't wait to come back. You know, I was like, great. Come back. What are you scooping up off the floor? Uh, stuff that was in my shoes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep. we're off and running. Yep. My shot glass back here. What am I doing? I'm opening the mail. Is that what I'm doing? We're doing mail. I kept this. I, I feel so guilty about this outfit. They have such beautiful pens. I thought, well, at least I'll look at it. And they keep sending them to me free, and I keep, oh. I keep using them and enjoying them. Well, why and, are they and sending them? I, well, I they're don't, looking for probably a... They're what? looking for an order, and I don't... I have thousands of pens that I got yeah. from eBay. Whatever. I know. I can't the fuck they send you those labels, mailing yeah. labels. Yeah. I get those all the, every year in the mail. Yeah. And I use them, but I've never bought them, but they just keep they sending keep them. Sending them. Mine, it's good. Well, anything you get through the mail, you didn't order, you're entitled to keep, I think, is the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll take the little red envelope first. Hi, Hugga Beagle. 
Maureen Webster, Wester, Wester, Salem, Mass. Salem, that's a new name out of Salem, Mass, I think. Oh, maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't recognize it. <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. Carlene, two bricks from Maureen Wester. Okay, we can do that. Two bricks. We put that in the brick department and the bunny in the bunny pot. And you can have that. Well, thank you. Well, open the Red Cross one and see. I don't know. Uh. Community Drive. They're looking for money from me, which isn't going to happen. Not going to happen. Although the Red Cross is, I must say, I have been known to give to the Red Cross. <laughs> Here you are. There you see. There you go. So they got their ad on the on the things. Well, the Red Cross and Planned Parenthood are my, is that the only two I give to? Uh, 10 bucks or something. To, now, Carl from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Carl with a K. Carl with a K. We met at Emmett. What a wonderful dog. He certainly is a wonderful dog. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Very nice donation. Hey, Lebego. There we go. Uh, thank you. And that, what am I supposed to do with that? You like them and I'll throw it there. do that. Okay. Emmons, Washington. Wow, the address is 2111280. That's a long, long street. Someplace. Must have started in Chicago somewhere. Okay. And they folded the paper. Okay, here we have an applicant. Inquiry for a service dog. Okay, we put that in the Linda department. You can't have that. Put that over there. Um, That's the bank. Memsick. Memsick. Easy does it. Nope. Seventeen thousand six hundred and eighty five dollars. How about that? Woo. Where would we be without it? On the street. Where would we be without it? Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. He does wait on us, too. If we have any problems, he fixes them right away. Middleborough, Matt. It's down Michael. our way. Michael. You want that one? Absolutely. There you go. Oh, it's another applicant to 60. And a veteran. Oh. He's a big one, six three. Wow! Need more big dogs. Big dog. Big dogs. We. I think we got some big dogs coming too. Handy cat. Yes. No. Let's try someone possible if possible. Huh?
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That guy needs help there. Okay, and we have Harold Wanda. Great. Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. They think we'd be very upset if we didn't get one from Harold and Wanda. Okay. Slice cake and paste it on a high powered microwave whole cake. Huh? Covered in foil wrap on baking. Covered in foil wrap. Oh. Oh, that's that's a whole cake in the oven. I want to know what what are they snacking on? Pecans. Huh? Pecans. Pecans. There you go. They always do. <coughs> okay. Where am I? I'm over here now. You're right this there. Is, you didn't. You didn't. I already got one. one. I don't even need to look at that one. You got it memorized. Boy, am I glad I looked at that beef. That's an hour. That's, That's a seven pound lump of beef. You're not supposed to be going to try and cook some mashed potatoes or something to go with it. <laughs> Do we have some potatoes? I don't know. Do you want I have no idea what's out there. I was only <laughs> charge of beef. <laughs> Maybe there's a can of beans. Where is the cans? I don't know. Oh, next, <laughs> to <the refrigerator. laughs> next to the refrigerator might be. There's some place. Oh, here's something. Oh, that's the candy jar. What's she into? Oh, She's gonna geez. grind up some cake and say it's mashed potatoes. Hey, Steve, ask her if corn's okay. What's that? Ask her if corn's okay. The corn, the, corn yeah. Okay. The, yeah. Okay, we got some corn. Is that the canned <laughs> corn? Yeah, fresh from the can. Fresh from the can. <laughs> well, if that's if that's what we got, that's what we got. Yeah. Is there any that instant potatoes or anything like that? Let's see. It was fresh at one time. Yeah. Stephanie Cerrone. Bridgeport. You might give a look in the freezer. We might have fresh frozen corn that Grace put up. We had a lot of that for a while. Jeff is on his way back with Misha. Who is? Jeff. Oh, I see. Okay. Did you get Stephanie from Beverly? She's very religious about this. This is very good. She sends it all the time. Very nice. Thank you very much. Who is that one? I read it to you. I know. But you I were chewing at the time. You couldn't hear it. Right? <laughs> Probably. Uh, Did you have the envelope? Beverly Cerveri. Cerrone. Oh, Beverly? Oh, come on, it's not on the envelope. It's on the, it's on the track that I put it I read the thing. Stephanie Cerrone from Beverly. Okay, Cerrone with a C. S I R O N I. S I O. Did you find anything? No, I didn't find it. Not any vegetables at all. Okay, so we're back to the canned corn. What the heck? Yep. Where is Beverly Where? from? No, it's Stephanie from Beverly. <laughs> Good heavens! Did you want to try the hearing aid bit again? What? <laughs> Maybe I should get myself one of those little things to put my hearing aids in. <laughs> Ay vey. Ay vey. So I knew Beverly was somewhere in there. Right. Okay. We're good. They're looking for money. Okay. Regina cool. got her Red Cross labels yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did all that. Is there a box? We got box. Is there a box? That's a big box. Yeah, probably. Oh, I know what this is. Is that that big bark or bed? Oh, really? 
Yeah, I Was think that so. one of those you put water on Whoop. it? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's <coughs> get it. Can you do that? Do what? Put that right there. I can do that. Then people could see it better. That's what I thought. We got a box here, your teeth thing on the bottom. Somebody gave us this. This is a big well, one. That's a Barker bed. I haven't seen a Barker bed yet like this. Wow. And they may as well enjoy us undoing it. What the heck? Let's give the full treatment. Is that yeah. the only box we're doing? That's the only one I see. Okay. Catherine McGarry. Right, that's who. I've been talking to her on the email. Wow. You've been talking on email? Please read that's before cool. opening your bed. Oh, they want to register? No, we don't do a register thing. Register the warranty. The hell, you wear out the bed? Your bed needs time to grow to its full glory. It's a vacuum packed shrink rack. Unwrap it and it'll begin to expand to normal size. Your dog can still on <coughs> get on the bed. Their weight actually helps it expand, but it will need solid 12 to 24 hours to reach its majestic thickness and size. Majestic. Any wrinkles will iron themselves out by the time you wake up tomorrow once the bed has had time to breathe. The microfiber cover is removable and machine washable. You want to use cold water and tumble dry on low heat. They're really big on their beds. It's majestic glory. Yes. Just well, it, the, <laughs> This is what we were sleeping on. The baby order the bed, you know, I that I now have. Over here once. I, I they're wonderful. Very Almost all dogs fall in love with their big bark and just take them longer to get others, whatever. But, Okay, so now we're going to open them, right? Yes. Everybody stand back. Don't get it too close to the windows. Right. <laughs> that, that, these, are, these are damn good bad. They really are. Okay, you're going to stand around and look at this whole episode too? Mm -hmm. Say cheese. Oh, oh! Share a picture of our pooch on their big barker, and we'll enter you in a draw to win with limited edition quick trigger better cover. We could, I'm sure, we ought to win that one somehow. All righty, where do we start here? Out there. I got a corner. I got one. You got one. Want to stand it on its side and do that? Which way is it gonna? I'm full. Let's, I'm, let's I'm get I'm unwrapping. Down. I think this ought to be down. All right. Yeah, let's get it Put it on up. the stool. Oh, you want it on the stool? Well, then you can just spin it, not hold it. And I'd have to move. Okay. Let's go. See? See how it, no, just turn it. <laughs> just, I'm peeling it as I go. You don't have to. I got it. Oh, all right. Just turn. Come on. There you go. There we go. Cooperation here. It's going to take an hour and a half to rake this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're slowing me up here. No. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, somebody went around the bottom when they wrapped that one. Oh, okay. So I that guess we have, okay, yeah, I'm going the other side. way now. There we go. Which way are we going? We're going this way. on the bottom. This way. Oh, we're going that way. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. Until we reverse again. Go ahead. Good. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh oh. <laughs> well, when you stand up to the top here, that's okay. Well, I, you know. Yeah. Aren't you glad we're doing it this way? I don't know how oh, yeah, right. it. This thing's going to open up soon and, like, take oh, my head off. <laughs> you get whiplash. Well, All right, now okay, what? now I go in some other direction. I don't know, we're still going the same direction. Move! Go. Still the same? Yeah. Well, almost the same. I'm getting a little nervous. There's half on the bottom against me. There we go. We're going sideways again now. Oh, my God. I'm sure glad it's arrived on the third. We're doing seat. this one for the southern hemisphere now. We're going the other way. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> this is for Australia. <laughs> Don't you? We're, going to get, we're, we're close to getting there here. Look at that. It's coming wow. apart now. All right, stand back. 
<laughs> I don't want this thing pointing at me when it unfurls here. <laughs> there we go. I got that part. Woohoo! Get it out of the bag, apparently. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, here oh, it comes. It, it, it's just growing. It's growing. Marker bag. It's not supposed to be zipped. Wait, the, the inside's not zipped. Huh? Oh. The, the lining. Inside zip. The lining. There you go. No, outside zip. Outside zip. We better zip it. It's not going to be. I can't do it if we well, get it. Well, no, because still, there's still some stuff around it. Well, here, take a zip it. Well, I can't because this is in the way. What? So let me cut, uh, let me cut this. You can't get past that with the. Uh. Watch your fingers. <laughs> yeah, I don't I, I don't understand that one, but go ahead. Here. I All thought right. maybe you could sneak underneath it and at least get it zipped before we got into this bind. Oh, watch your fingers. Yeah. See how much easier that is. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, we go. All right, watch your watch feet here. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, that thing hurt a bit. <laughs> one more coming the bottom. Which, which part's the bottom? That one over there. Yeah, no, see, we got more of this stuff here. There we go. Yeah, okay. Boom. Okay. So this is the bottom? I don't know which is the bottom. I don't think it makes a difference now. This has... I, I would... I don't know. I don't think it matters. I'd sleep on either side. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. down. We can all try it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. There you go. Let's do it. Wow. Let's, have a, let's have a demo here. Oh, oh, there you go. I wonder if they make these things with vibrating. <laughs> In mine, in mine, it's my uh, everything else is vibrating, but the here's your pill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is these are really bar. comfortable. It, they are. Are they, man? That's a big bed. Yeah. Is that for the dates or you? <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to get a bigger one, though. I was trying to get a bigger one. Yeah. <coughs> And that's why I ordered this low, it's called, low mattress. Yes, I've seen those advertised. What is that? Is it it's the same kind similar of similar yeah, material? They come, they come about like that, I believe you have to take them. Oh. He's there gone. Go. He's a goner. Okay, so we lost him. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that idea. I'm done. All right. We should have opened that after oh, Lord. an answer period. It's pretty comfy. It is very comfy. <laughs> I wonder what size, what size that one is. Is that the biggest one? That That's you the get? extra large. That's extra large. Okay. It's a little bit short, but if you lay diagonally, <laughs> you you're, go. you're good. Uh, you could manage to sleep on it. You could. You just curl up. The only thing with mine, with this one, <clears throat> is it does make heat. Body heat stays in it, so that if I lay on one side all the time, oh, really? my hip gets hot. Kind of hot. Yeah. Huh. There's a foam in our side. But I didn't notice the problem with the Barker bed. That's just with the mattress in the wow. the but I, I The thing that amazes me about these is they just spring back into to shape without keeping yeah. the form. You know that, like if I go this way. Look at that. It just comes right back again. I go this way again. You know, on the same topic, <coughs> I don't know what those pillows are made out of. Those my pillows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good. <coughs> is that the guy that advertises? Yeah. Boom, boom, and it's full size again. There was some problem with those, though, a while back. I think it was some, I don't want to say it right now. Well, there was a problem with the guy returning them, I've heard. But I don't see any problem with the pillow. I don't know. I've never tried them. Well, I did. I, you know, he gave you two. So I can put one upstairs, and Pam now uses it. She loves it. Are they thick, though? I don't. I personally, I don't like thick pillows. I like I like something squishy flat. This, this, yeah. this is an awful good pillow. Really? Hmm. But do they do the same thing? Do they retain heat? No. No. 
No, this thing, the, the, my, my mattress does. The Barker's <coughs> bed does. <laughs> the Barker's, Barker's a good bed. Do I need to get back up now? You need to get back up now. Uh, party's <laughs> over. The party's <laughs> over. $2. $2 tonight already. Sorry I'm pointing my butt at you, but that's the way. Oh. oh. Did you want to lie on it? Try it. Well, I probably won't wake up back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably go. I'll be go. Uh, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that good? That is nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nighty night. night. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I'm going to use it with the dogs. I'll use it with the volunteers. <laughs> Good support. Seems like really good support. It is. Thank you for the happy birthday. Again? Are you still, are you still milking that birthday routine? <laughs> well, the next month. It's a month-long celebration, absolutely. Boy, um, that's why we do it on the 19th, right? Well, we'll do it again, absolutely. <laughs> um, go Chicken Bricks. And um, uh, Tina has, has upsetting news as well. She didn't win... win Publishers clearing house either. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, I know. Oh damn! Oh well. <clears throat> so you will wear our two dollars now too. There you go. Um, okay. Question from Lila May: Is there a background check done on applicants? I I don't want to answer that question. Okay. All right. I don't want to answer the question. That's privacy is important. Um. Okay, and Judy was just like. I also, I, you want me to comment on background checks? Go right ahead. <laughs> a lot of these ones that you hire that you, you can do background checks with, they're not as accurate as they say they are, so it's very different. Here's 79 cents. See, it's 59 cents a piece. Jesus. Yes, I do have the munchies tonight. I don't know how they turn these pens out. <laughs> Jerry so Ray cheap. says you you need a you need a wiffle bat to keep me focused tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I need another wiffle bat. We're out of wiffle bats around. We don't uh -oh. have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> I had to borrow a wiffle bat for the barn the other day. It was that's very bad. And yes, for for you, Carrie. What? Regina says, a girl after my own heart, canned corn and instant potatoes if they can find some. <laughs> my microwave and takeout is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Carlene needs a bunch of instant potato scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm in trouble. You're Thanks, in trouble. Peggy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. AJ says there are there some might be, There might be rice out there. Excuse me, I bought that fairly recently. Got some down, down in the feed room. <laughs> True. Whole that would not be the first time. AJ says there are some really good frozen mashed potato products now. Oh, but they're not here. Big Barker, says Jerry. All right, let's see. This looks like a string of comments here. Um, what kind of bed, Barker? Oh, I thought it was for Carlene. Um, she might confiscate it. <laughs> no problem if she does. I know how much she enjoyed the last one. <clears throat> Catherine, Catherine, thank you so much. Oh, she's from New Jersey, it looks like. Okay. Um, yes, thank <clears throat> you very much. That's you. right. I'm sure <clears throat> we will all enjoy it. I hope the dogs get a chance at it. Yeah, you know, well, I broke it in. Carrie's breaking it in <laughs> there, too. I did one side, she's just doing the other side. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. You really, you didn't pick it up, did you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Not going to, okay. All right. Um, 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 I'm having a mental block. Um, Came up. She wants to know if if you've got your ever got your orange ice cream. If not, she owes you one. Not. You didn't get it. Nope. She didn't get it. <coughs> <coughs> okay. 
Barb's 21 says, put 12 gorgeous puppies on it and you're sure to win. <laughs> <laughs> no. They leak. Oh, Lee. Um, oh, it doesn't. Ne never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, um, <laughs> Jerry Ray says, nothing would get Audrey on it. I fell asleep on it many nights trying to get her to lay down on it. <laughs> Linda says, Gromit won't sleep on it unless he has his fluffy. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Chaos's new bed says our dogs are best. <clears throat> um, Pup Rescue says, why don't they make Barker in people sizes? And Jerry says, the low mattress is very similar. That's what you said. That's what I yeah, got. Yeah. I don't, I've never heard of that. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, dogs are best says, no pup has tried, come over to try it yet. And they're all zonked. Oh, they're <laughs> Uh, which dogs are to be fixed next? And it looks like Tina answered Edgar tomorrow. Oh, really? Yes. I, what did I know? Mm -hmm. Well, probably Steve probably did. He mention it during trainer talk? Uh-huh. Probably did, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, the pro Bubba's mom says, the problem with the pillows was the advertising practices. Pillows are great. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I just I, didn't want to get great. into it. But. <clears throat> Yeah, the guy with my pillow was fine for false advertising. Okay, he, um, um, go ahead. He also had a lot of political advertising with his. Oh, really? Yeah. Laser pointer stylus pen. <coughs> Boy, that's got one are of you everything. Still looking at pens? Uh, they are lovely pens. This, you have one? Huh? You have one? I do. I have a bunch of them. They keep sending them to me. I'd like to see what one of them looks like. Your, your, your voice is starting to trail off. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> if you could just get me a little better tail, I'd be in good shape. <laughs> I don't know if that's one of them or not. But it's oh. like them. See, you're, well, those are nice. They are nice, I tell you. And there's some that are even nicer. But I seem to be worn out, maybe from too much birthday partying last night. It was very quiet. Nice dinner. Yeah, it was great. We had a nice dinner. <coughs> All right, Jan, Janet Sample wants to know, how was your day? Unbelievable. Yes, it was very productive. It was very productive. I got all ready for those people to come at 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and I went around and I got things organized. And I sat around and thought, and I thought, and I thought, and they didn't get here, and they didn't get here. I finally came up to the house and said, they're not coming, you know, what's going on? And we re-studied the thing, and they were coming at 11. But that two hours between gave me a chance to get my head in order. So by the time they got here, I said, fine, go do this, this, and this. And it was, Good. it went. They emptied the giraffe tent and then put everything back in and ordered. It was just wonderful. Nice. That really needed to be ordered. Oh, That's my great. word. And I, we had one whole dump run. Wow. With the big trailer? Yeah, with the, wow. with the dump trailer. Wow. <coughs> um, yeah, I want to go down and look at that after. Oh, I'll see it up close. Beautiful. How are Watson and Mindy doing with their training? I didn't get a chance to do anything. <laughs> what happens? Okay, Barb21 says, check out the Miracle Bamboo Pillow. Love it and have neck issues. And she has neck issues. I would try that because I have from, yeah. I'll have to look that up too. Bamboo Pillow, have you ever heard of that? Actually, I made it. It's not like what you think it would be like, but I, I think they're, it's, it, they make bamboo mattresses also. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's not the stick. Are we keeping you, you up? Can, Are we keeping you up? Yeah, you oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's your help. I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> um, Blue Penguin, dearest Carlene, as to your mention of the heat retention of your lull, do not know who or where, but they sell a cooling mat and stay cool sheets. Huh. Huh. Um, Cat Lady says, my pillow, I believe, can be ordered any size and any thickness. At least that's how I could order them four to five years ago. What, that you're my pillow? My, my pillow, yeah. 
I don't know about that. I didn't specify any particular kind. I said, give me a pillow. I got two of them. Maybe I'll treat myself for my birthday. <laughs> I have a, I have a, uh, I have to get up. I have, they, they send you also two tiny little ones, travel pillows with it. I have oh, really? I have one of those in the other room. Oh, that's cool. If anybody, if anybody gets on their feet, they're huh. totally <laughs> Are you really? Oh, wow. A little dizzy right now. <laughs> Get up slowly. Are you up? You're up. I'm up. One of those, <laughs> one of those tiny little pillows is next to my bed. Waste no time and stuck in the, 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 the railing. Can we get it? Sure, because he doesn't know what it is. I'm sorry. I just... <clears throat> All right. Why is this any different than this bed? Thank you, Regina. Happy belated birthday. <clears throat> Uh, Regina loves my pillow. Cool X-ray lady loves it too. Um, it's very cool. And if Rob says, ask the quality. Is it? That's it. Here, here you go. Now ask the quality control department if the new Barker bed is approved for Danes. Yeah, if we're willing to give it up, we is. will. There you go. There's my pillow. All right. Well, this requires another, another, another go round. Hey, a Barker in a my pillow. You got it made right there. That's a that's a tiny. Okay, that's uh, close to Motel well, Six can, right there. You're gonna have to come back down and try this. <laughs> See, now this is the perfect size pillow. This is, I like this. Well, you can have it. Merry Christmas. No, no, that's. that's okay. I don't. They gave it to me, and I don't use it. Oh, you don't use it. I have the regular pillow. Oh Lord. But it is very nice because you can fluff that thing, and it stays fluffed and things. Right. And it. it <laughs> It does what it's supposed to do. It holds my head. Oh. All right, I better not stay here because I won't get up. <laughs> All right. Ooh. That's very comfortable. Okay. Okay. Have you seen these? Oh, these are really comfortable. Um. <coughs> it is Dan approved, Rob. Um. What's happening? Oh. Who pinched a puppy? That is cute. That is quite a bar. Oh, Punky oh, says, I love how fast Misha's decided to wean her pups. <laughs> <laughs> She's done. <laughs> um, tag 81, 812, New York. Thank you. Belated birthday. And hey, Carrie. TAG 812 New York says hi to Carrie from Tennessee, from Teresa in New York. Her and I went to Rockport oh, last night. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about her this trip, and I was hoping that she would come up. Well, yeah. She said hi. And I'll be darned. You can say on your phone for what you're doing. Okay. <clears throat> um, the ones that have the funny bump on the end. Oh, it's Sue. Easy girl. Um, is Carlene still receiving the paper copy of the Wall Street Journal? I am. I can't get it shut off. Okay. She's, if so, ask her if she wants me to call them and try to cancel. I know that sure. they've tried. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Sue. That would be wonderful. I need help like that because I just never get around to it. They put me on hold and I go away. <coughs> Some of these pens are just nice. I want one with the bump on the end. I, they sent me one of those ones, and that was very nice. There's something here about a 25th anniversary. <coughs> oh, we have a big reunion coming up. Um, Peace Lover Oregon is going to paint him or herself silver for the party. That should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. These are these are only ninety nine cents. Some of them are thirty cents. Well, what happens if you don't want it engraved? You just want a bunch of pens. <laughs> see, because the engraving is the setup fee is twenty bucks, and custom logo is thirty five. So you're adding a whole bunch of money to the. You know, that's where they're getting their. That's where they're getting their profit. Post for twenty fifth anniversary. That's where they're getting their profit because these are just damn nice pens, and if they're only you know fifty dollars, 
Some of them are 59 cents, some of them are 99. A lot of them are 99 cents. So Peace Lover said they're going to Oregon Coast for their 25th anniversary and having an open house party on the 20th. Instead of gifts, she's asking for donations to SDP. Right! Mm -hmm. Taking the calendar, chips and cards, and have a donation pot all ready to go. Nice, thank you. Thank you. A great idea. Tina says two wiffle bats coming Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I never should have said it. <laughs> never should have said it. Yeah, notice how they're coming on the next day. Well, actually, I'm not going to be here Saturday, so. Hey, you can't use them on me. <laughs> You'll have to wait till next week. Okay. <clears throat> how did Annie enjoy her kisses bath? All the dogs were happy to contribute. Did you have a little kiss fest before? Uh -huh. I wonder what happens if you don't want a logo. Susan, um from Luke and Zeus, Susan, says, I love my bamboo pillow even more than my my pillow. Why? Uh, one says, me too, and I tested both. What's the, what is the bamboo pillow? Why is it different? How is it different? <coughs> You're liable to get attacked by pandas. <laughs> <laughs> um, Regina says, puppies are four weeks old today. Happy month birthday. Well, they're eating in the kitchen now. <laughs> Ayler is out of the hospital enjoying the good home, home life of being waited on with TLC. What an ordeal. Who? Ila? Isla? Isla? Oh, Isla. 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 I think she's the one that goes to the <coughs> fire department with the handmade <coughs> cakes and they've, she's really adopted the whole fire department. <laughs> yes. Is that her? Yeah. Well, it, it, she says, um, what an ordeal. I will, Repost my picture of the beautiful fireman's flowers they sent later when go. I was stronger. I might add, I cried happy tears when my family brought them home to me, and to think they delivered them to the house in the big red fire truck. <laughs> I'm so proud of my fireman and fire lady. That's great. That's awesome. That's good for you, Isla. That's great. And recover, recover soon and quickly. That is quickly. That was that was um, so redundant. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So did quickly. Sorry. Quickly. And completely. How's that? There you go. <clears throat> All right. Carleen, isn't, isn't this the time that one has to be careful about Parva with the pups as they are being weaned off the mom's protection with their milk? Um, they supposedly get their immunity for the first six weeks. And then you start giving them the Parvo shot every couple weeks until you're sure you're not arguing with their immune system. Because at six weeks, you're never sure whether the mother's, whether you, if, if the mother's colostrum is still in effect, then your shot's no good. But the colostrum is. Does it interfere with the... What uh, the hell? Is she in there with the puppies? Yeah, they're just talking. Yeah. They're walking around talking, not even touching each other. They're like... Oh, Misha doesn't come back soon, I'll, I'll feed them. No, yeah, Misha's on her way. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they said. <clears throat> um, who are the overnight sitters for tonight? Uh, Grace is doing half the night. I, I Beth. Forgotten. Grace and Beth. And Beth. Wasn't that who was on last night? Yeah. Because I ran into Beth this morning. <laughs> what is the name of the puppy, of the pen company, please? Not the puppy pen, the pen company. This is Amsterdam. Amsterdam pen. Oh, Mr. Beer's already answered it. Amsterdam. And the thing that may be the kicker, uh, they, they engrave them. Um, they charge a hell of a lot to set it up and then engrave them. I don't know whether they sell the pens without the engraving at that cheap price. But they, they're nice pens. And they've got weird things like ones with a little flashlight. If you're sliding your name in the dark, you've got the flashlight, whatever. And some that have laser, and some that have a have a uh, stylus point at the end. You can you know tap your cell phone with it or something. Yeah. They're nice pens, uh, but I but they do add fifty five dollars for the engraving and stuff. Wow. You take you're going um, away with the bed. You we'll leave. see you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Hey, chaos. Put it, put it over there. He wants to know if the pups got warm today. I don't believe they did. Yes, they no. did. Did they? Mm -hmm. oh, All these little ones? Grace, Grace, uh, 
work until today. Oh, oh she okay. did. I thought she said she was going to do them later, but no, my mistake. I think so. I think okay. they do. I guess they did. There you go. Okay. Are we done? Looks like it. I got an announcement. Go. Uh, I you forgot it. it now. <laughs> no. Um, when I came up here, I was told that I might get uh, a chance with Tumblr. She's a wonderful dog. She likes this much being a service dog, but she distractions got in her way. And so uh, I arrived, and she's been staying with me in the guest house, and it's true love. So <laughs> we're starting home Saturday morning. Uh, take us a couple of days to get there, but uh, she's going to become a little Tennessee girl, and uh, she'll be loved with all we have down there. And Judy, Franchi, <coughs> she uh, went on and got me a harness. So thank you so much. Awesome. It's been a, a pleasure, and I'll be here till Saturday morning. But Tumblr's a girl. And the other I'm thing, Tumblr. She's the a other thing girl. is, she's going down 84, across Newburgh, across the bridge at Newburgh, picking up 81, right? 81. <coughs> All the way down 81, and going to be staying overnight someplace down there. If there's, if we have camera people up and down 81, I don't know. Maybe she could stay in the overnight, or I don't know. That's but great. anyway, know. my heart is very warm. I'm very thrilled and very <laughs> privileged and honored to take her. So I oh, thank you very girl, much. Too. Yeah, she's a great. She's dog. awesome. She's gonna be. She's gonna have lots of fun. And she likes the book about the roly poly tumble bumble puppy. Well, I'll be that. <laughs> I'll get that order tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm 21. We'll get broke. Do this real quick. It says the bamboo pillow is also memory foam form. What? It's memory form. A memory form, but softer and more pliable. It made very well. It's gonna make me memory better. That would be great, wouldn't it? Oh man, I'm gonna buy a couple of them. Put them on both sides. <laughs> Where is the dog, Misha? Isla wants to say, I want to add a very special thank you to, to all for the beautiful cards. They meant so very much. I love you all and miss the little babies. They, left, they didn't even have their eyes open. Now look at them eating out of big bowls. Love that picture of Pam with them eating all at the same time. Where has my spring gone? I've missed so much. You have an Isla. You're back, you're back in it. You're, gonna, you're great. Just recover well, and we're with you. A lot of happy tears for Tumblr, Carrie. Thank you. All right. Now, Chief? Now. Okay. Wait, I'll get the mattress for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lots of people checking in to happy for you. Thank so you. So you might want to look at these up. I sure will. Well, if we get that piece of beef out onto a big plate so you can cut it, that would be nice. I will let you, you know, your meat cutter here. I'm too. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be get at you. Well, I'll, I'll go get the uh, the wood chipper. There you go. Uh, I just want to make that sure that we cut the, the cutting. Cut the in the right direction. Yeah, he's, he's better at it than I am. All right. Thank you, everyone. Good night.